back up in the top front bedroom. The window in here has uh, seen better days. I think you can see that there has been repairs to every joint and there is repair plates on every corner and joint of this window. The centre posts have actually shifted down so the whole windows are no longer square. Uh, they also, we've lost most of the putty from the glass, leaving me big gaps. As you can see, it's allowed water to come in, and the wood has just rotted away. If I open the windows, this is even worse on the outside. You can see it's uh, pretty bad. So this is the new window that's going to go in. As you can see it's made of wood and it's double glazed with thermal barrier in the glass as well so it shouldn't get condensation on it. You'll notice that the windows are a single pane whereas the original windows have glazing bars across cutting the pane into three. Now I did look into getting a window custom made to match the old one exactly and it came out at four times the price of this one off the shelf. So I saved myself about one and a half thousand euros by going without glazing bars. That doesn't mean to say they're not going to have glazing bars. What I'm going to do is use these thin pieces of timber and some double sided tape. This is 3M VHB tape which stands for very high bond. It's the stuff they use to stick uh, badges and number plates on cars so it's waterproof and it's a very very strong. So I'm going to paint these pieces of wood, put the double sided tape on the back of them and then measure down on the window where they've got to go and then stick them across the window. It's not straight but you get the idea. So it will look like the window has been split into three. Like I said earlier, I need to put the window bars in, glazing bars in, or fake glazing bars in. I'm just using a piece of uh, thin timber. On the back of it I've used some very high bond tape. Like I said, it's the stuff that's used for holding car badges on cars. So it's waterproof, weatherproof. All I've got to do is peel off the backing and stick it to the clean glass. I've already measured and marked very faintly on the sides where I've got to put this. So it's just literally a case of putting it in the right place. Pressing it firmly onto the glass. And there we go, that will give the impression of 
A real blazing bar. Mm. I'm now about to take this window out. As you can see, I've chipped away down the sides to expose the edge of the frame. The sides here are actually at an angle. I just need to take a small piece away to allow me room to actually get the frame out and in doing so I've uncovered the three fixing points down each side hopefully you'll be able to see this there's a piece of metal there that's screwed to the window frame and it's embedded into the wall it's just underneath the hinge there it is, right the centre and there is three of those one by each hinge see so what I'm going to do is cut those with an angle grinder and then the window frame should pop out but first off I'm going to remove the windows which is quite an easy job Well now that the window's out, I've test fitted the new frame in and I was already new, I had to lay a line of bricks across the bottom just to lift it up a little bit 
to make it fit properly. I've now done some fixings into the wall ready to accept the window and I'm just going to put some seal around the edge before I pop the window in and do the fixings up.